waste is a problem we can no longer ignore. Every day, we throw away resources that could be put to better use. But what if we could turn the waste into wonder? That's where businesses like Soda Lemon come in, using innovative solutions to tackle the challenge of upcycling waste. Hi, my name is Sean. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Soda Lemon together with my friend Ray Xiang. So back in uni days, it was more of like a side project. So this was not a graded assignment by any of the lecturers. But we were interested to see what we could do with the waste materials that we have our hands on. Because glass is one of the least recycled materials in Singapore and also around the world actually. In Singapore, it's maybe between 10 to 20% of glass being recycled only for whatever that's been thrown away. If you look at the landscape, glass is still quite a neglected resource. So in our eyes, it's a resource, not really a waste. And we are quite interested to see whether we could find a way for glass waste to be reintegrated into society or the circular economy. Starting a local business at such a young age comes with its risks and Sean is no stranger to that. You know, when you grow up, you start to take on adult responsibilities and people ask you, oh, why run a business? You should be having a full-time job, stable salary, stable income. So that was the part that we had to juggle. And for me, because I left my own full-time job, my mom was asking, why are you trying to do something risky? Think about your future and so on, yeah. Soda Lemon specializes in upcycling glass waste, giving them a new lease in life. So upcycling is when you take a waste product and you process it without reducing it to the raw material form. And then you make a useful product out of that. What we were doing is mainly taking in glass bottles that people didn't want which is mostly like wine bottles beer bottles and also like glass jars at least for us if you buy a glass product from us you get to in a sense customize it you can let us know exactly what height you want to cut at what design you want to have in the glass we can also do that for you through its passion for sustainability soda lemon is turning waste into wonder one bottle at a time I think for sustainability journeys, right, there's always, in essence, the demand side and the supply side. So the demand side is where we can try to reduce the demand for products and services. When people talk about this, they already immediately feel that there is a conflict with economic objectives because economic objectives want you to spend more. So on the demand side, I think I'll be very happy if people consume what they need and maybe a little bit of luxury. So that's for the demand side. The supply side, that's what we're working on. We're trying to make more sustainable products available for people to have a choice whether they want to buy something that is conventionally made. It may not be unsustainable, but it's just conventionally made and therefore there could be ways to improve the sustainability of the process. So the challenge may be daunting. Sean hopes that every Singaporean can make their own positive impact on the environment. All these issues are at the national scale, at the global scale. What can a single human being do? That's the question that many of us ask ourselves in our journey for sustainability. But there is this concept where you do what you can in your sphere of influence. So you may not be able to change the world, but you can change the thing that you do in your life. You can influence people around you to adopt more sustainable practices. And hopefully these people can also tap onto their own sphere of influence. And it's like a wave that progresses throughout society and across countries. Like Sean said, we too can play our part in reducing material waste. Sometimes, it's as simple as supporting local businesses like Soda Lemon. So, how will you contribute to a more sustainable tomorrow?